the outcome was very, very good. Uh, after months and months of negotiations uh, since September and hours spent trying to thrash out compromise agreements, uh, they all went through very quickly. And instead of voting on 2,400 separate amendments, uh, the 25 compromises went through and we completed all of the vote within one hour. So uh, a good result. All of the ALDI priorities uh, were backed and, and supported. Uh, the only negative I, I thought out of today's vote was that on double funding for farmers who run agro-environmental schemes that they sh who qualify for greening, uh, there was a vote in favour of that and I think that's not a credible position and it's a bit of an own goal for the Agricultural Committee. It's the first big step in moving away from uh, direct income support without any strings attached to it. We now have up to 50% of the direct payments targeted at the delivery of environmental goods. It's supporting LFA production where there's a real risk it could die out. Supporting young farmers, so much more targeted way the funds are going to be used. Uh, but most importantly, it takes us hopefully a, a big step forward to a more sustainable agricultural model uh, that can respond to the big challenges of climate change, biodiversity loss and producing food with low, less inputs. That's the biggest challenge I think that faces Europe and the rest of the world.